Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Apache Maven on the Raspberry Pi. You know, if you've watched any of, the, any of the videos that I've put up in the past couple of weeks, you know that I like Java and I like the Raspberry Pi. I like to see those two work together and having Maven installed as your build tool, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of helpful in that it helps you kind of manage your builds, it helps you manage your dependencies and your Java projects, and it's going to be something that I use in a future video. So I just wanted to make sure that I had something like this in place that I can refer over to um, in the event that you needed some help getting Maven installed on the Raspberry Pi. There's nothing that's specific to the Raspberry Pi in this particular uh, tutorial. This should work on really any Unix-based operating system, but I've got the Raspberry Pi fired up, and that's what I'm using as my example. In fact, I'm logged into it right here. You're looking at the VNC um, uh, client. Uh, I'm logged into my desktop, but for this particular exercise, I'm going to be using the command line. So I'll just jump right over to that now, and uh, we'll get started. In fact, let me go ahead and I'll minimize my VNC viewer. I'll move my window over a little bit so I've got a better view. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure shell into my Raspberry Pi and I'm going to uh, begin the process of installing uh, Apache Maven. So I'm going to use the SSH command. I'm going to specify my user as Pi and I'm going to punch in my IP address which is 192.168.1.84. That's an internal IP address which means that I'm actually trying to access my Raspberry Pi that's plugged in to my local network here in my home. And I have not changed my uh, default credentials, so my username is Pi and my password is Raspberry. If you haven't changed your user credentials either, then this will be the same thing for you. So I'll log in and I should be good to go. So. What I need to do to get started is I actually need to download the latest version of Apache Maven. Uh, I've messed with this Raspberry Pi already, so I actually do have Maven installed, but it's an older version and I want to install the latest version and that's what I'm going to do in this video. If you've not installed Maven, uh, then these instructions will be exactly the same, so go ahead and follow along. Um, in my case, you might see a couple of things that are already in place because I've done this already. Uh, so what I'll do to get started is I'll download Maven. I gotta go to the maven.apache.org website to download the latest. I'll click on this download link here on the side. And I'll scroll down and I find that the latest is Maven version 3.3.3 .3 as of the uh, date of this recording. So I'll go ahead and all I want to do in my browser, I'm on, I'm on my laptop right now, is I just want to get this link so I'll copy the link address and then I'll jump back over to my command line because we want to do this on the Raspberry Pi itself. So now that I'm back over to the command line where I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi, I'll type in this wget command. So it's wget and I'll paste in the address of that uh, binary download and I'll hit enter. And it should go ahead and start the download process should be relatively quick and it's done. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, right now I'm currently in the uh, the home uh, directory for the user pi which is slash home slash pi and I want to install this elsewhere so I'm going to actually navigate over to the slash opt directory and I'm going to do my work there. Um, we're going to decompress this archive so that we can get to all the files and that's where my memory is going to play tricks on me. I can't remember exactly how to do that, so hopefully I'm doing this right. You may see me stumble here for a bit. I want to say it's, uh, let's see, X, Z, V, F. And then we just want to uh, decompress home slash pi slash Apache maven. And I just I hit tab to do the complete. So you start typing out Apache and hit tab, and it'll see that it'll recognize that that's the only file that matches, and it'll, it'll auto automatically complete the file name for you. So I've got the Apache Maven 3.3.3 .3 binary uh, tarballed archive, and that's what I'm going to decompress here. So once you've typed this in, you've navigated over the slash op directory, and you type in this command to decompress it. You should see uh, everything start to kind of open up and do its thing. And that's pretty much it. This is really simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to now get Maven into our path. We want to be able to execute Maven commands from anywhere on this Raspberry Pi. And to do that, we need to edit a text file. So I use the nano 
uh, text editor because it's it's simple and, and easy and reminiscent to some of the things that I used to use back in the DOS days. Um, there are plenty of others to use uh, for the purposes of this particular demonstration. This one's relatively simple, so that's what I'm using. But we want to create a file called Etsy Profile D dot D slash Maven dot SH, excuse me, typo dot SH, and we'll hit enter. Now, in my case, this already exists because I've done this before. In your case, it will not exist. You'll have to do this from scratch. So you'll see that you don't have a file. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to enter these two lines, mt underscore home, all in uppercase, and you want to specify the directory that you've just created by decompressing that archive. Now in my case, I've got 3.2.5 already installed. I want to change that to 3.3.3. .3. So look at what I've got on my screen here. This is what you want to have on the first line of this file. On the second line of the file, you want to have path, all in uppercase, equal, dollar sign path, which represents a variable, colon, and the dollar sign m2 underscore home, that's the variable that you just created on the first line, slash bin. So what we're telling the, the system here is we're saying, in addition to what you've already got on the path, make sure that you also add the m2 home path, slash bin. So we're saying, the, the executable that exists in this bin subdirectory is now going to be something that we consider on our path. So I've made that change to the file. This will be the first time that you're creating the file. So you'll want to make sure that you save that. Save modified buffer in this case, yes. We want to save our changes to the file. And we'll hit enter. Oh, it's oh, permission denied. Okay, hang on a second. I might have done, might have done something wrong here. In fact, I did. I need to make sure that I specify that I am using root privileges here, so I'm, I'm going to invoke the uh, sudo before I actually open the text editor. So let's try this again. So we'll do profile d maven dot sh. All right, now as root, I'm going to make that change. So if you're following along with me, you may notice that you're not able to save that file. So now I'll save it again and that time it worked. So at this point, um, typically, uh, I want to say that you should just be able to log out and log back in. What I'm actually going to do instead is I'm going to reboot. I think it's reboot. It's either reboot or restart. I always stumble over this. OK, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reboot the Pi. That's going to close out my VNC session, too. And that'll take a couple of minutes. And then when we log back in, what we should expect to see is that we now have Maven on our path. And there's a really quick and easy way to show that to you. So let's give it a couple of seconds, and we'll log right back in. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. It only takes a couple of minutes to actually reboot the Pi. In fact, it's less than a minute in a lot of cases. So let's try and log in and see what we've got. 192.168.1.84. It's going to prompt me for my password. I'll go ahead and, oops, I screwed that up. Let's see if I got it right. I did. Good. Okay, so now that I'm logged in, what we should be able to do to test to see if we actually have Maven installed and that I've got the correct version installed is run the Maven command. So that's MVN at the command line dash version. And we should see something. It's thinking about it. One moment, please. And there it is. So, and, and it shows me that what I've actually done has been effective. So my Maven home directory is now pointing to 3.3.3. My Apache Maven version is now 3.3.3. And then it includes a, a variety of different details on the Java version that we've got running as well. So that's a success. So to follow along with some of the future videos that we've got, you'll definitely want to have Maven installed on your Raspberry Pi just to help you with your builds and it help you launch your applications. So follow along. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave those in the comments. If you liked what you saw here, please like the video. And for more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.